SEVERAL WEEKS SINCE THE POWER OUTAGE ON OCHERCOKE AND HATTERAS ISLANDS FORCED THOUSANDS OF RENTERS TO SHORTEN OR LOSE THEIR VACATIONS. NOW SINCE THAT TIME, PEOPLE HAVE BEEN SCRAMBLING TO GET REFUNDS EITHER THROUGH TRAVEL INSURANCE OR SOME OTHER WAY, BUT SOME ARE WARY. TONIGHT, OUR CONSUMER REPORTER STEVE SPRAZIA ASKS, WHAT'S THE DEAL? For those who were going to vacation on the Outer Banks in late July and early August, the cost was pretty hefty. It was top of the season, and places like this were going for thousands of dollars. One vacationer who reached out to me says she has spent the last three weeks trying to get a refund. It cost Deborah Cohen $4,700 to rent this place in the Hatteras Island village of Avon. But the cable cut and mandatory evacuation of the island back on July 29th kept her and her family off the island. Did you get travel insurance? I did not purchase travel insurance. In a FaceTime interview, the New York attorney told me that she declined the insurance but says that doesn't matter because of the situation. But Hatteras Realty told me in an email, Red Sky Insurance has informed us it would have covered her loss under the terms of its policy had she purchased insurance. I wasn't offered insurance that covered the event that we're talking about. She also filed a claim with PCL. They are the contractor which caused the damage. They sent her this document saying they'll cover her expenses, but Cohen says she's wary of it. The release says that upon my signature, I acknowledge receipt of the money. And they have not forwarded me my money. But even with the potential payout by PCL, she remains frustrated with the rental company, Hatteras Realty. It's Hatteras who undertook contractual obligations. They should not, I don't believe, be the beneficiary of PCL's acting justly. So Deborah waits to see if she's going to be getting her money back. In the meantime, she warns others to carefully scrutinize any settlement offers they may get. That's the deal. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS North Carolina.